Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Baird. I'm a physical medicine and rehabilitation physician with Stedman Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas and Greenville Hospital System. I will be doing your facet joint injections today. Just as you have joints in the rest of your body, in your knee, in your shoulder, in your elbow, you have joints in your back as well. Uh, you have joints at each level, uh, starting in your cervical spine going all the way down to your lumbar spine. Uh, there are two at each level of your spine and they're called your facet joints. Uh, these joints can get arthritic over time and can become quite painful. Risks that I need to let you know about today are bleeding. Uh, please let us know if you're on any blood thinners, including aspirin, Coumadin, Lovenox, uh, any anti-inflammatories uh, such as ibuprofen or Aleve, as this can increase your bleeding risk. Uh, infection, we use sterile technique to minimize its risk, and it is very, very low. Uh, there's a risk of nerve or soft tissue damage, but we use x-ray guidance to make sure that we are going into the facet joint, uh, so this risk is minimal as well. Uh, there is a risk that it will not help you, but based on your symptoms, uh, we feel that it will and are hopeful that you will get good relief of your low back pain. Uh, please let us know if you've had any recent fever or chills or infection or on antibiotics. Let us know if you're a diabetic because we will be using steroid medication and this can elevate your blood sugar. Uh, let us know if you have any other concerns prior to the procedure. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, we will be using uh, iodine to clean off your back, so please let us know if you have any allergies to seafood iodine or contrast. Uh, when we take you to the x-ray suite, uh, you will be laying on your stomach on our table. Uh, we will then uh, clean off your back really well with sterilization techniques. Uh, we will take pictures of your lumbar spine to identify your facet joints. We will then give you numbing medication, which will feel like a bee sting. Oftentimes patients say this is the worst part. Uh, they, we, we will then guide the needle towards the facet joint. Uh, when, we are, uh, when we have adequate needle placement, we will then administer both the numbing medication and steroid in and around the facet joint. Uh, the procedure should take a total of 10 to 15 minutes, uh, depending on how many uh, injections we are doing. Um, after the procedure, you may have some muscle soreness, and I would encourage you to use ice uh, for 15 to 20 minutes at a time, uh, every three to four hours today. Uh, we will be giving you numbing medication into the joint, so you may feel immediate relief, uh, but this will wear off within the next three to four hours. I encourage you to rest today, but you can resume all normal activity starting tomorrow. Uh, the steroid can take uh, usually seven to 10 days uh, to take effect. Uh, some patients will say they feel worse uh, the day or two after the procedure, uh, but then you should start having some relief. Uh, I will see you back in clinic in approximately two weeks. Uh, please let me know if you have any complications after the procedure, although I don't anticipate that. These complications would include fever, chills, sudden weakness or numbness in your leg, um, and you would need to contact the clinic immediately or seek medical attention.